Welcome everyone to the last Just Dance 2023 opinion video of the previews, that is. Today I'm gonna put the previews that have been released since the last video in this tier list that I have made in the last video. And there won't be any more previews, so after this video I'm gonna be done with this. So, let's begin with Disco Inferno by The Tramps. Well, this is kind of a filler for me, I guess. It exists. It's not too bad, to be honest. It's, it's fine. So, Disco Inferno gets a good... And Zubidoo is so shit that it should get its own tier, so I'm gonna add the row above. Make this one the grey one, call that no, and this will be the black tier, and it's called Zubidoo. Just so Zubidoo gets its own tier, it's so bad. And before anyone comments, I know that troll songs aren't supposed to be good, but it's still shit. Okay, so, now we're on to Therefore I Am. And as much as I dislike Billie Eilish regularly, this one is actually pretty decent. But I feel that the background takes most of the attention away from the coach and anything. Like, the background is good, but it's too... Well, not distracting, because it's good, but it takes the attention from the coach and the pictos away. But aside from that, it's actually not bad. So, therefore I am, gets a super. Next one is Walking on Sunshine, and at first I thought that this coach is gonna be reused again, for some fucking reason. Then, the... Pictos came into the picture and I I love this. I love that the Pictos are the ones dancing. They could have had more original outfits, but they are representing the coaches, so this time it makes sense that the outfits are recycled. But the only thing I don't like is what the fuck these are. I mean, I get that there are no um, pictos because the picto is dancing, but maybe they should have swapped them. So the coach could pose like the pictos and those could be shown here. But the concept is very cool and I love it that the pictos are dancing. I just wish that not just random shit was in the picto section. Like, so, like, what the hell is this? That's pretty much my only problem with this. So, Walking on Sunshine gets a super, because it's it's great. This would have been a more fitting troll than fucking Zubidoo. Next up is Dynamite. Again, because we haven't had enough K-pop, definitely not. But aside from that, it's... Okay, I guess it's actually better than the extreme in my opinion, says the person, me, who likes extremes 99% of the time more than the original versions or normal versions. I don't know if this is the official choreo, but to be honest, I couldn't give a shit. It just... okay. So it goes into K-pop and other undesirables. And next up is Woman, All Mother version. I didn't like the original version either. And this one is no different. So, it goes into K-pop and other undesirables. This one is an undesirable as well. Next up is Bring Me to Life by Evanescence and it's fucking amazing. It's great. I didn't listen to it when it came out. I didn't even know that it was Evanescence who made this song. I've never heard of them before this. But it's great. The song is great, the outfits are great, the background is great, and it's just all around a pretty good choreo and background and song. 
the only thing I noticed is here this picto is like 85% clipped into the background but aside from that it's it's pretty good which was a pleasant surprise for me because just then steam most of the time just ruins good songs so bring me to life goes into perfect not quite physical level goodness but it's up there after that can't stop the feeling dance vs prince version well i hoped that this blue randomized outfit guy wouldn't return as well but at least he has a cool name i mean dance vs prince sounds cool and this is pretty much an extreme but it isn't called an extreme so I can't hate it for being an extreme, honestly. If it wasn't this guy, or if he looked not blue, I guess, then it would have been a tear up, probably. But it's pretty good this way as well. So the Dance vs. Prince version gets a super Next up is Good Ones, and I hate this outfit. I don't think I need to explain why, it's just fucking awful. But the song and the choreo is surprisingly good, even for this outfit. Because if they fuck up one thing, then the entire thing is gone to shit. But this is an exception. It's not that bad, just the outfit is that bad. So Good Ones gets a, a good. Boy With Love, well, I don't think I need to explain. We Don't Talk About Bruno, well, I haven't watched Encanto, nor do I want to. So maybe this is a good depiction of what it was. Maybe it isn't, it's just the obligatory Disney Pixar song for me, so... Although it is much better than You've Got a Friend with in Me, or whatever its title was. So we don't talk about Bruno gets a... that's a good... It's at least better than Just Dance 2022's Disney Pixar Abomination song. Next up is Psycho, extreme version. Next up is As It Was by Harry Styles. I actually like this song, but why is what is this outfit and background? I don't know how this correlates to the song or its message. I'm just confused, to be honest. I haven't watched the music video nor do I want to so may maybe that's where the answers lie but just how does this relate to the song at all so because it's confusing for me as it was would have gotten a perfect if it was if it wasn't ruined by the Just Dance team as I explained earlier it gets a good at least it's a song I actually like, so... Next up is Sissy That Walk, whatever the fuck that means, by RuPaul, and uh, no. I'm not against drag queens or whatever people wanna call themselves nowadays, it's just not for me, like, at all. Next up is Toxic Extreme Version. And it's not that extreme, to be honest. And at least it's not a K-pop extreme, so that's something, I guess. So Toxic Extreme version gets a good... It's fine, I suppose. Next up is Majesty. I like this character that is up against the first week's Just Dance coaches but they could have been against someone original like this is the many at time of recycling in this game so far but at least it has some originality 
So Majesty gets a, a super. It looked to be more fun than Toxic Extreme to be honest. Next up is Billion Dollar Baby and I'm willing to bet that this is the easiest choreo in at least 3-4 games. Like a fucking child could do this with all perfects. It's so damn easy. It it needs either an extreme or at least a harder alternate version which wouldn't be that hard because almost anything is harder or more difficult or however should I put this than this anything. The song isn't bad, nothing is bad exactly in this, only that the choreo itself is very damn easy. And before you comment, I do know that it needs to be more accessible, but come on, who can't do this? So it could have been a touch more difficult. So million dollar baby gets uh, an okay, just because of the sheer easiness. Next up is stay inflatable version. And I would have thought that if stay gets an extreme it's gonna be anything but this well people took the extremes when it comes to chakaron everyone either loved it or fucking despised it like i do with zubidoo i was kind of the meh faction because i danced to chakaron maybe twice during this past year and it's at least not that annoying as Zubidoo is, so it's doing something right. So I really don't know what to think about this. It's probably gonna go under the meh alternates. So stay inflatable version gets a good, I guess. Next up is Playground. So if they were gonna put something in from Arcane, I thought that it would have to be enemy, but I guess, I guess not. They already have an Imagine Dragons song, but they put in two Ava Max songs this time, so this w wasn't gonna be an exception if they did. But anyway, I haven't watched the show, so I don't know how memorable this song is, that it deserves to be in Just Dance. But aside from that, it's it's not bad, actually. The background could be more, how should I put this, alive. It could, it could move. That's the, that's the point I'm trying to make. That it's mostly really static. So playground gets a, a good, or no, it gets a super. It's, it looks to be more fun than the good tier songs. Next up is Anything I Do, and this isn't my style either, but it's at least closer to it, a tiny bit, than Sissy That Walk, and this title actually makes sense, like what the fuck does Sissying a walk mean, anyway, so, so Anything I Do gets an okay, or actually no, it gets a good because it looked to be kind of fun at least. And the last song is Heat Waves. And it's one of those more unique 3D coach choreos, I guess. And that's all there is to say pretty much. That it's not a conventional human, but something original this time that is dancing. Although the animations could have been smoother, in my opinion, but aside from that, it's it's not bad. So heat waves gets a it it gets a super for good measure, and I don't know what these refer to. Probably some regional exclusives or something. But this is my. Well, not complete because these exist, but mostly complete tier list. You can hate me all you want in the comments. Feel free to. 
I get more love from the algorithm if you comment anyway, so so stay tuned for my review of Just Dance 2023 edition sometime in the future. I make no promises for that. And if you enjoy this video, then comment, like, subscribe and stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.